Hello fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to cover a very important subject as far as an, we get these inquiries all the time here at AMP Futures Help Desk where customers, when they're trying to execute trades on TradingView, they get an error message that says non-tradable symbol. Now there are two reasons why this will happen when trading with AMP Futures and TradingView. The most common reason that we come across is customers don't have data enabled for their CQG connection. Whenever we tell them this, the first response that we usually get is, well, I already have data subscriptions with TradingView directly. Even though you're able to get data subscriptions directly with TradingView and see live data in the platform, you are still required to activate a CQG data subscription for the particular instruments that you trade in order for you to actually route orders. So for example, if you're trading, let's say micro or e-mini S&P 500, you're going to need to enable CME data exchange for your CQG connection. For example, you can just enable the cheapest data plan, which is the top of book data plan instead of market depth in order for you to give you access to order routing. That's one issue or one scenario where you would have non-tradable symbol as an error message. The other scenario would be TradingView has its own symbols comparative to CQG symbols. For example, if you're looking at a TradingView symbol, a TradingView symbol will typically end with the numerical one and an exclamation mark at the end of it. If you notice in my watch list here, you can see it says ES and there's a numerical one with an exclamation mark at the end of it. Anytime you see a symbol within your TradingView platform that has this particular visual, meaning the numerical one and the exclamation mark at the end of it, you are looking at a TradingView symbol. That is not a CQG symbol. Instead, look right above it. You'll see where it says ESZ2023. That's the CQG symbol abbreviation. So let me give you a quick example. I'm going to go ahead and add a new symbol that's not in my watch list at this moment. Uh, let's see. We already have micro NASDAQ. Uh, let's go with something that's not there. Uh, let's do uh, let's do Russell. Let's do the mini Russell. So we're going to click the plus sign here to add a symbol. And if I type in RTY and I collapse it down, you can see that there is the trading view symbol right there where it shows RTY with a numerical one and an exclamation mark. That's a trading view symbol. But if you look right below it, You'll see where it says RTYM2024, and you'll also see where it says F.US. F.US is a good visual to let you know that you, you are looking specifically at a CQG symbol. That's the symbol that you need to add into the TradingView watch list in order for you to actually route orders. So now that I've identified that, I'm going to click the plus sign, and now you can see the symbol's been added, and now I'm able to actually execute trades on the mini, mini Russell. So to recap, two scenarios why you would get non-tradable symbol when using TradingView with AMP Futures. Scenario one, you don't have any data subscriptions enabled for your CQG connection. You need to make sure you enable it. By enabling it, you can log into your AMP client portal, click the Trade Desk menu. You'll see Live Trading Setup Request, which is the electronic form, which will allow you to go in there and pick and choose the data plan that you want to activate for your CQG connection. Scenario two, you're looking at TradingView symbols instead of CQG symbol abbreviations. Again, make sure you follow those particular steps and you'll be well on your way in executing trades with Ant Futures on your TradingView platform.